What is up guys, Charlie Pangas here. Welcome to day six of 10 days of t-shirt designs. I have a really cool episode for you guys today. In the last episode, we went over creating different shapes in Illustrator. In this episode, we're gonna be creating our own textures and using them on this t-shirt design right here. And the cool thing about this tutorial is if you're a beginner in Photoshop and you never textured using Photoshop, this video is really gonna help you guys out. Plus t-shirts look really cool textured and it's something that's very, very popular and it's a desired look. So without further ado, let's go ahead and run that intro and get started. All right guys, so we are gonna create some really cool textures today, but before we get started, I wanna show you guys a new texture pack that I actually just created. It's on my website for sale for $4. If you go to my website and go to shop, so it's charmediadesign.com up here, um, and then you go to shop, and when you go to shop, you can click on all these different tabs. I have enamel pins, uh, merch design services, t-shirt mockups, and texture packs. Now, if you go to texture packs, you can actually see that I have a texture pack here, and it's only $4, and it's basically a uh, pre-made texture brush pack and it comes with five different brushes so th this is a shortcut in case you guys don't want to make your own textures you could just buy this and download it and have brushes ready to go immediately these are all super high quality brushes that I created from scratch and I'll show you guys what it looks like real quick so there's one through five here and as you can see they're different textures so anyway if you want to save some time you guys can just pick this up it's only four dollars and um, I don't make a ton of money off this. This is literally just uh, some resources that I put together for you guys. So obviously you guys can go pick up my texture pack if you want a shortcut and you just want to have the brushes ready to go. But in case you guys want to actually learn how to do it from scratch and make a texture out of your own image, like let's say you took a photo of the sidewalk outside and you want to turn that into a texture, this video is going to be perfect for you. Anyway, I have a texture that I already found and I pulled it in Photoshop already. So I already uploaded it to Photoshop and we are going to take this photo and make it into a texture today. Making textures is super fun because it's not that hard and once you get it down you can really do anything I mean the sky's the limit with this kind of stuff so but the first thing we need to understand is you cannot make a texture off of a colored image you need a black and white image to make a texture but let's say I did take a photo of the sidewalk outside and it had color all I'd have to do is desaturate it now this one looks like it's already desaturated but just to be safe what we're gonna do is go up to image selecting the actual image on the layer palette make sure you select it because if you don't select it you're not gonna be able to desaturate it or make it black and white so I'm gonna select this image right here which is the image I imported into Photoshop and I'm gonna go up to image adjustments and I want to go to desaturate and that's gonna completely make this image desaturated which turns it black and white and that is perfect now this is ready to start making into a texture and another thing I could do is I can adjust some curves and stuff but uh, for the sake of this video I don't need to do that this actually looks fine the next step I have to do in order to make this into a texture is go back up to image go to adjustments and then go to brightness and contrast and once you see this brightness and contrast menu pop up what you need to do is check legacy and then raise the contrast to 100% and you're gonna see something interesting happen as you can see it starts to do something really interesting now you raise it all the way to 100% and then you can adjust the brightness now to determine you know how, just how much texture you want to show so let's say we want it all the way up it's just gonna be lines but I don't want that I want more details so I'm gonna bring it back down towards the black side just like this and this is looking good so now I can click OK and now I have a texture that's ready to go so the only thing is this texture is good now I mean I can use this on a design but it's not going to be a brush and I would like to turn it into a brush so all I have to do to turn it into a brush is do control A on my keyboard and then go up to edit and then go to define brush preset now from here I can actually label this so I can name this whatever I want now I'm gonna name this bricks or something like that because it kind of look like bricks so I name this bricks and then I click OK and now if I go to my design here a regular design I'm just going to create a new layer real quick so I can show you guys what the texture looks like now I have that texture automatically see and I can use that on my design just like that but using the brushes that I have on my website we're gonna be creating a texture to look just like this one right here so I'm gonna hide this for now and now I have a copy of my design down here so this is the one we're gonna be texturing today so what I want to do is create a new layer on top of that and name this texture just like this and then I go to my brushes. Like I said, I'm gonna be using the textures that you guys can buy on my website right now just so you guys can see what they look like. So I have my first texture here and I'm just gonna lay it down real quick. And it's not gonna be perfect, I'm just gonna kind of brush over, click randomly, and then I wanna add a layer mask so I can delete it. So I'm deleting some of it now. I don't want it to be too intense, that's why I'm deleting some of it. I just want a little bit on there. So we're gonna create another layer real quick. So each layer is gonna have a different texture is what I'm doing. 
and I'm going to go to another brush and this one's gonna be a little heavier so um, this one I can kind of play with a little bit this one's definitely gonna need a layer mask and you'll see in a second why so as you can see it's pretty intense right so I'm gonna add a layer mask and I need to make sure black selected as my foreground and then I can just kind of delete where I don't want it just like this as you can see there's really nothing to it I'm just kind of messing around and um, playing with this to see what looks better what I like more so that's actually looking all right I don't mind this it doesn't have to be um, perfect each time it's probably gonna look different so we're not gonna be able to copy the original one that I did uh, completely but that's okay and then what I'm going to do is add one more layer and add one more texture to this design before we finalize it so um, the one I want to use is this one right here and I'm just going to brush over it one more time just like so so once I've brushed over that like I said I can just add another layer mask and as you can see I'm adding a lot of layer mask to this too in order to get the detail I want out of this because I don't want it to be too intense but I still want it to be in certain areas um, so I'm just kind of messing around with it just like that so we are actually almost done already now what I can do is select the entire canvas, so control A, and then edit, copy, merge, and then paste in place real quick. Now I have that texture design. Next thing I want to do is go to dust and scratches, which is under noise. What dust and scratches does is it allows you to mess with the texture a little bit more. So there's already texture on here, but this can actually um, help you warp the edges a little bit to give it more of a vintage look. So you can mess with these levels until you're happy with them, or you could just copy my levels here, but basically you will see it mess with the edges of your design and you just have to kind of determine what looks better and what doesn't. Like if I uncheck this preview, you'll see the before and then the after. So that just gives you a rough idea of what it does. And after I'm happy with it, I click OK. So I clicked OK and now this is the final look. And as you can see, it looks really cool. It looks nice and vintage. And what I can do is get rid of the background now and add some color to it. So I'm going to go to select color range. So using the eyedropper I can select the white and basically just mess with the fuzziness a little bit until I'm happy. I have it at 195 and I'm happy with that so I click OK and now it's going to select all the white and then all you have to do is hit delete on your keyboard and it's going to delete it. So just to show you what it looks like I'm gonna hide the background real quick and as you can see it's transparent now and that's perfect now we can start coloring it. So I'm going to add a color overlay to it real quick just to show you what it looks like with some color and then I can you know I can make it an off black I can make it red basically whatever color you want it to or you can make it multiple colors like I can make the outside a certain color and then keep the inside a different color uh, it doesn't really matter whatever you feel comfortable with um, just to show you guys what that would look like I'm going to color it real quick a real quick color not spending too much time on this just like this and as you can see that texture looks really nice with the color we just added some color to the design and we textured it and we even created our own textures but like I said guys you don't have to create your own textures you can just go get the brush pack that I have um, it's really up to you but it's really easy to create your own texture so I definitely encourage you guys to experiment a little bit and um, just keep watching this video if you get lost I promise you, you will get it everything takes practice and you're not gonna get it the first time every single time that concludes day six of ten days of t-shirt designs in this episode we covered texturing and I felt like it was a really important topic. This series is all about teaching you guys different uh, things about t-shirt designs. So um, we will be doing more t-shirt designs in the following episodes, so don't worry. I just wanted to get some basics out of the way in case um, you guys don't know it. And I know not everybody knows how to do this stuff, so I'm really trying to help those people that are struggling. And if you guys found this video helpful, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And as always, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this mini series. It's been awesome because of you. I will see you guys in day seven of 10 days of t-shirt designs. You guys rock. See you next time.